time we're going to take papers number 26, 31, and 32 together as a block. We'll go to them separately, but we're going to take them for public comment as a block. They deal with the financing of the projects in the EPA Yes, item number 26 is orders number 2012-193. That's to amend orders number 2011-70-94. For the purpose of modifying the purposes for which the proceeds of debt issuances authorized by such orders may be used to include the making of appropriations to the city's economic development authority, EDA, to be used by the EDA to finance capital expenditures or to make loans or grants to finance capital expenditures for the, for the purposes of promoting economic development. Item number 31 is ordinance number 2012-215. That's to authorize the CAO to execute the Lee Street Development Cooperation Agreement between the city and the Economic Development Authority for the purpose of providing for the authority to develop and manage a training facility designed to accommodate use by the Washington Redskins for summer training to include two practice fields and a field house to be constructed to the specifications of the Redskins a sports medicine and training facility designed and constructed to accommodate bonds and course Richmond Health System and used by the Redskins during summer training facilities for other commercial enterprises and complement the athletic and health and wellness uses by the Redskins and bonds and course and other facilities and facilities thereto on real estate owned by the Commonwealth of Virginia located at either 2401 West Lee Street or 2701 West Lee Street or both. And item number 32 is ordinance number 2012-216 to amend ordinance number 2012-34-70 for the purpose of transferring certain funds and shifting into future fiscal year certain plan appropriations to make an appropriation to the Economic Development Authority for the authority to develop and manage facilities for commercial enterprises including the Washington Redskins and Bond Support Health System on real estate owned by the Commonwealth of Virginia located at 241 West Wesley Street or 2701 Wesley Street or both. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Any uh Council comments before we get to the uh, public comment. All right, anyone in opposition to any of those debates? Okay, if you're in opposition, please come up and speak. Hello, um, I'm Rhonda Herring. Um, I'm speaking tonight on behalf of the Alliance for Progressive Values. Um, we're a nonprofit grassroots organization in the city and our opinion is that this is being pushed through way too quickly and we would like to make sure that everybody is very thoughtful before making um, rash decisions that will affect our city in many different ways. Um, having said that, I'm now speaking as Rhonda Henning, a citizen of the uh, Carver area and this training facility will be happening about 10 blocks from my house. I'm already impacted by uh, the VCU area every time we have graduations at the Siegel Center and um, the same thing happens, I'm guessing, with the training facility. I don't see any provisions put into place for the traffic that's going to be coming to this area. I don't see any provisions for uh, parking and it seems to me that it's going to be a, a negative impact on the neighborhood. Um, I'm a Redskins fan myself, I like the Redskins, but I want for them to show us the money. I mean, you're coming here to the city. Um, it seems appropriate that somebody would purchase the school rather than have a, this long-term contract that, you know, 60 years. I, I just don't understand why the city is 
always the one impacted when the rich, the rich people seem to make out like bandits from the city every time. And that's why it's good for, this, for all of you to really be thoughtful before you make these decisions that can affect us negatively. <clears throat> we, we don't have the money. So that is pretty much all I have to say. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Again, because unlike the people who've been working on this, a lot of the citizens haven't had a chance to study this and do all the ramifications. And again, I appreciate their business expertise. We want business, but I like uh, as Rhonda said, we would, we do want to see some uh, commitment both ways. Again, uh, teams come and go; they leave cities. Uh, you know, they have training facilities in other cities. We're talking about how great Carl's, you know, how people in Carlson, Carl's life, I'm sorry. Must have liked having the Redskins, but they aren't there now. So again, you know, what, we haven't had a chance for the most, I think, the public at large to really examine this to find out if um, you're taking up the environmental effect. I mean, I think the green space is good. I think sport fields are good, but uh, are they going to include traffic? It's a good point. Are they going to include any rail lines through there or hiking trails? Um, just more information, I think, is needed for a vote. Yes or no. And uh, if this is a good deal. I don't think the Redskins are going to jump out of it real quickly. And I think the, uh, it's a good deal that people in Richmond will approve it. But again, just a little more information before we bring the entire project to a vote as written. I think it would be a good idea. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Lynch.
because it's you're going to begin to get afraid of the seed and fall apart. And particularly tonight, I believe one of these ordinances says uh, is feeding ten million dollars to an economic development authority. An economic development authority should not be making plans for a city. A city should be dependent on citizen input, and particularly as to parks and recreation facilities. This facility would be very handsome over on the Chamberlain Industrial Complex area, where there is not a tree in sight, and they need the economic development in the Chamberlain corridor. Close. Your time is up. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Is there anyone here speaking in favor of any of these Thank <laughs> you.